was April 12, 2012. The address, 517 Post Road in Greenland. The Attorney General's Drug Task Force asked for backup to serve a warrant to suspected drug dealer Colin Mutri. And with just eight days until his retirement, Police Chief Michael Maloney answered the call. It would be his last. In a hail of bullets, four officers were shot, Mike dragging one to safety. Moments later, shot and killed as he took cover behind his cruiser. Mutri later turned the gun on his girlfriend, then himself. It really just, basically it tore your life apart. Like so many, Lieutenant Don Sawyer, Maloney's friend and co-worker for 19 of his 26 years in law enforcement, was in shock. That while the town and first responder communities surrounded and supported his family at home and at work. Chief Tara Laurent, who succeeded him, was sworn in that night. At the time, it was just minute to minute and then hour to hour and then literally day to day for probably the first, at least the first year. Five years later, still difficult to talk about for many, including his wife, Peg. She says it's not always easy, especially at holidays and birthdays. It can be quite challenging. They say the first year is the hardest. I say every year is difficult. Community support, though, is still a constant. The Michael Maloney Memorial Fund and the annual run in his name the last Sunday of every April. We've um, done 40 scholarships. We've supported... Um, fallen law enforcement officers all over New England and firefighters. Um, we do community grants. His brother thankful as well. Five years later to have people still talk about the chief with reverence and, and respect. Um, it's, it's not only, you know, you're part of something that does good for, you know, does good things for the community, but from a personal standpoint, um, to have so many people rally around his legacy and memory, ensuring that it's a positive, uh, positive one, you know, it's, it's probably saved me. His legacy doing so much positive. Town offices where the chief visited every day, now paying it forward. When I would hear of a similar tragedy, I would reach out to that town with either a call or a card or an email. Every member of the Greenland Police Department staff still there. I'm telling you, the bond is is amazing. If anyone left, I don't I don't know what I'd do because it, we've just become so close. So as cops, we get along. We get you know together for lunch, and we'll have a coffee, and we bring up all the old stories. And he was just such a part of so many of the old stories, and they were funny, crazy stories. We don't want to not move on, but we never want to forget. In Greenland, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News Nine.